Are you ready? Check out the latest from Bezista. It's trending videos. We're here to bring you awesome content. Getting started in Twitch isn't an easy process to go through with many things to consider. Factors like target audience, streaming content, branding, and marketing are all seemingly complex and troublesome, especially for the 19-year-old who's still in school but wants to give it a try. Trust us, however, when we say that following all of these fundamentals will pay off in the long run, even if you aren't considering making a career out of Twitch. In this video, we'll be discussing all the fundamental aspects needed to start streaming streaming on Twitch, from the necessary types of equipment to working on your branding and even adding bots like Nightbot. The necessary equipment. First and foremost, you must have all the necessary equipment and streaming gear before you start streaming. Aside from the indispensable PC, which of course has to be able to handle streaming whatever game or content you plan to stream, you'll also have to spend a couple of bucks for equipment like a microphone, a webcam, and even a soundproofing material if your room tends to echo. It's very important to make sure that your recording gear like your microphone and cam have to be decent quality. Now we aren't asking you to invest in a $250 microphone like the Shure MV7, but a decent budget microphone like the HyperX Solocast will still be able to do the job and provide you with decent audio. The same goes for your webcam, which is very important because the whole point of live streams is for interactions between the streamer and the audience. For a start, if you're using a laptop, then you can work with your laptop's webcam if you don't really have a budget. However, if you can spare a couple of bucks to buy a webcam that will greatly improve your face cam quality, you get started with Logitech C922 Pro that sells for about $50. Last but definitely not the least, it's very important to have a stable internet connection for necessary types of equipment. Your internet doesn't have to be as fast as NASA's, but a decent speed that can broadcast your video at 720 pixels or more is definitely appreciated. Suppose you aren't at the liberty of being able to look for a decent internet connection. In that case, you can at least maximize your speed by using an Ethernet cable that stabilizes your internet better than a Wi-Fi. Working on your branding. If you pop out on Twitch without planning for any of your content and you just start streaming, chances are you won't have anyone watching you, much less loyal following. The only exception would be that you're extremely well known in the game you're streaming, like a pro player. But you wouldn't be here if that was the case. It's important to work on your branding, decide on what content you're going to stream, and establish a target audience that you can work around. First, you'll have to decide what content you're going to stream. It doesn't have to just be a single game like League of Legends or Minecraft, but work with two to three games when starting out. Chances are if you play random games, and you don't have a solid amount of followers yet, no one will stay to watch your stream. Second, once you're able to decide what content you're able to streaming, decide who you're going to stream it for. Is it going to be for adults? Is your content friendly? Are your general audience males or are you for everyone? Once you've established who you're streaming for, interacting with them gets simpler. Twitch must do's. Aside from working on your branding, which is very important, there are several other things to take into account when streaming. Interact Interacting with your viewers is one of this. If you aren't really good with the game that you're playing, at least be entertaining enough so they'll stay. It's very important to pay attention to the chat and every once in a while say hello, state the name, walk into my stream to avoid dead air and create an interactive relationship with your viewers. Use a bot. There are a lot of convenient bots like Nightbot that have a lot of features like giveaways, song requests, spam protection, very important, timers, and full chat logs. There are other bots like Agbot, Streamlabs, OBS, Chatbot, Moobot, and PhantomBot. Just make sure to not use ViewBots because that will get you banned. Although starting out on Twitch seems to be a very scary thing, being consistent, persistent, and passionate about what you do will always be the key. Just stay focused, committed, and follow the fundamentals we've provided and you'll be fine. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe for the more helpful content. Subscribe to our channel and like this video. Hit the bell button to get notified. Get awesome content! Check out our videos now!